Cal Fire described it to me as a one-two punch for communities like these. Now, I, got, I want to show you guys. You can see sandbags have been lined up here along the streetway and the hillside. Investigators telling us today that more than 300 pieces of ivory were seized from the Carleton Gallery here in La Jolla. Well, Mark, yeah, it's really people in this business district can tell me it's really just been a string of bad luck for the popular cafe. Now, police told us that at least five rounds of shots were fired into the business all while customers were inside. That viral video happened here off Coast Highway in downtown Oceanside. Obviously a much different scene here than yesterday. The this roadway right here pretty much was an ocean of its own due to all that rainfall we got. Still actively get together outside those therapy sessions, but they are organizing one last get together at Inco this Friday. Reporting live in the newsroom, Brittany Ford, NBC7. Here inside Marino's Italian restaurant in Pacific Beach, it's business as usual. But when dust turns to night, right above his restaurant, owner Mark Marino says he's been dealing with some unwanted tenants. So basically they just climb right up here and there it is. <laughs> Marino tells NBC7 a homeless couple has taken over the rooftop of this business district off Garnet Avenue. It's just constant. I, I, like I said, I know their names. I go up there, all right, you guys, get out of here. You know, it's, it's that sort of thing. And right down the road at this strip mall, business owners tell NBC7 they're also dealing with the same thing. Now, our cameras weren't able to catch the squatters in the act, but it's a trend Marino says is becoming widespread. You start looking at flat roofs, you'll start seeing you might see clothes hanging out to dry. You might see, you'll see stuff. And once you know it, yeah, I see it all over Pacific Beach. He says police have come out at least five times telling the people to leave, but they were never cited or arrested because of one thing or another he didn't have in place. Basically, if you don't have the trespassing signs, you don't have the letter of agency, then it's not trespassing yet. Now aside from taking orders and greeting customers, Marino says shooing off and cleaning up after the homeless has become an unwanted chore. Clothes and their backpack and a pillow and a blanket and then just every day you kind of got to pick it up and, you know, throw it out. Now, I actually did reach out to the San Diego Police Department on Marino's case numbers, and they tell me that he did have the proper paperwork on file. But once he did, the people living on top of the roof here moved to the vacant business right next door, which is not considered to be private property. Reporting live in Pacific Beach, Brittany Ford, NBC7.